These are sobering times for all peoples and all countries around the world. The Eurozone is locked in its own crisis, which has created massive unemployment and real social um, strife across whole parts of Europe. The United States, people would say, is poised on a fiscal cliff. The World Bank reported in October that the Asia-Pacific region, with China at its core, is unlikely to grow at the rates that had been forecast. That global slowdown is being felt right here in Britain, with the Chancellor's autumn statement yesterday saying that Britain's growth targets had been missed and a longer period than planned of austerity is ahead. And that's why this conference um, is about galvanizing growth. It's, we see it as one of the most important issues facing every country in the world. In, an, in a global economy where a slowdown in the major economies of the world means a slowdown for almost every part of the world. <coughs> So the Blavatnik School of Government has sprung into life at, a, at, a, at, a, at an important moment. In no part of the world can we be complacent about government, particularly during this crisis. And I don't think there's any society in the world that doesn't think that they should have a government which is smarter, which is more legitimate, and which serves better the needs of people in that country. And that's the starting point for the Blavatnik School of Government. And that was also the vision of Len Blavatnik, whose generous benefaction to this university made the school possible. So we were founded in 2010, and our goal is to pursue research, education, training that helps those who are leading to learn and to serve better. How do, we, how do we think we're doing that as a school? There are four things that really mark out what we're trying to do in the Blavatnik School of Government. And the first is to really focus on practical efforts which are working or working better than other efforts. That's to say to take an approach which is positive and practical. And I hope that this meeting over the next two days will be an example of that. The second thing that we're focused on in the school is looking across the world for solutions. This is a global school, and that's why over the next two days, you will hear people who have served in government, whether in Nigeria, in Switzerland, um, in Mongolia, in Spain, in the United Kingdom. We believe that actually, when government is so difficult, you've got to look across the whole world to find solutions and to find practical measures which can work. The school's also taken up a philosophy that leaders, future and present, need a much better understanding of science, of medicine, <coughs> of philosophy, of ethics, and a better grasp of the extraordinary degree of information that's now available. So the school wants to use different disciplines and teach people how to use them. And finally, and perhaps most importantly, we believe in the Blavatnik School of Government that better government has to come from better collaboration and better cooperation. That's not just among countries, but that's across private sector, public sector, NGOs, civil society. And that's why in putting together this meeting, we've made sure that we have both partners in planning this meeting as well as participants from all those sectors. So it's a particular pleasure to welcome today our partners in this conference, the Brazilian National Development Bank, who have um, helped forge this agenda and are represented here by João Carlos Ferraz and colleagues, the World Bank, um, who have just produced two reports which will be talked about at this conference, sort of hot off the press. Um, McKinsey's, who collaborated with us last year in looking at the innovation imperative and have since that time launched their own centre of government 
headed by Diana Farrell, who I'm delighted is here with us and has partnered in this conference. And their report produced yesterday on education for jobs and growth um, it will be something that Diana talks about later this morning. Um, finally, the Ford Foundation, um, who are supporting the school's project on finance and globalization, um, have, are, are a further partner and, and sponsor of tomorrow's focused sessions on finance and growth. 